Greetings everyone and thank you for visiting Utique Bridal. This is part 3 of how I created my Tanya Flower Girl dress. I will be showing you how I sewed the lining, the sleeves, and how I added the finishing touches. So let's get started. So first we're going to start with the lining. I'm going to use the organza pattern I created in part 1 and lay it onto the silk fabric. I will pin it in place and then lay it onto the tracing paper. Then trace the seam lines. Next, I took it to my sewing machine and thread traced it using the widest stitch. Repeat for all the other pattern pieces. Now sew all the lining together except for the sleeves. Because I wanted a heavier lining for the skirt to support the tool, I used the same satin that I laid under the lace. Here is the horsehair trim I'll be sewing to the hem of the lining. I will sew it onto the right side of the fabric about a quarter inch away from the hem. I will then flip it over and then sew it down. The horse hair is going to give it a little bit of structure and body. We are now ready to work on the sleeves. The sleeves with the fashion fabrics should already be prepared from part two. So I'm going to lay the silk lining on top and then make sure all the seam lines match up. Next I'm going to pin each end of the sleeve at the hemline and then put a few pins in between. Now you're ready to sew along the sleeve hem. When you're done with that, unfold and make sure all the seam fabrics are laying under the silk lining. Now do an edge stitch along the hem and this will help the lining lay nicely under the fashion fabrics. Now I'm going to do a wide stitch right above the seam line for the ruffles on each side. It's going to lay between the two markings on each end. Now you can see that when I pull on it, it's going to gather the fabric and form the ruffles. Now take note on your markings inside of where the ruffle starts and then you're going to sew along the seam line right up to that marking. Here I place the pin to mark it. Repeat for the other end. Now I'm going to line up the markings with the markings on the bodice and sew it together except for the part where it is ruffled. Now go to the inside of the dress and then pull the sleeve through and then pull away the silk lining. As needed, tighten or loosen the ruffles to fit on the seam of the sleeve. Line up the seam lines and pin. Now sew that section. Next, cut slits on each end with the markings where the ruffling starts. Now tuck the ruffled section into and under the silk lining. It should be tucked toward the sleeve side. Tighten the ruffles for the silk lining. Then I'm going to pin to lay it in place and then hand stitch the lining down. Now with the right sides together, I'm going to sew the dress and the lining together at the neckline. Now cut slits all the way around the sleeve opening of the lining. I will now tuck in the lining by folding it under right at the seam line. Go all the way around the sleeve by just tucking in the lining and pin. Next, I'm going to do the blind hem stitch. So basically, I'm just going to tunnel the needle onto the lining and do a quick catch stitch on the sleeve fabric. And then tunnel and do a quick catch stitch. I'm going to repeat this step all the way around the sleeve. Repeat this process for the other sleeve. We are now ready for the finishing touches. Since we're on the sleeves, I'm going to edge stitch along the armhole. I'm also going to edge stitch around the neckline. Sew in the zipper and press the seams. Then remove the thread from the thread tracing process. I had originally trimmed off the scalloped edge on the lace fabric and then pinned and hand sewed on the scalloped edge along the hemline of the lace skirt. After I finished sewing it on, the trim looked fine but this part is hard to explain. The trim felt a little visually heavy for me and I wanted to go for something more delicate and a lighter or softer feel. So I just went with my gut instinct and I just undid the scalloped hem from the lace skirt. And whether or not I would find the perfect trim, I just decided to spend my Super Bowl weekend and go trim shopping. En route, I've never seen so many buses parked at our Skeeter Stadium 
And all my life living in Sugarland, I've never seen so many private planes parked at our Sugarland Regional Airport. It was exciting to see all the people visiting Houston to see the Super Bowl 2017. Welcome everyone! So let's refocus. In hopes that I could avoid going to the downtown fabric store, to avoid the crazy traffic there, I went to two nearby craft stores in search of the perfect trim. I got to narrow down my choices to these three lace trims. And I really had to use my imagination and see beyond what was presented. So I fell in love with this trim. I really like the silver threading on it and I saw the potential of the scallop design. So what I did was I started to cut out the scallop design on the trim. And then I would cut out the outer edge just for the scallop design. Then I would repeat this for the scalloped edge on the other side of the trim. And now I have the new trim for the lace skirt and the sleeves. Do you agree it looks better? Either trim would have been fine, I just really love this new trim. So when I am done sewing on the trim, I am complete with the dress. I thought the Tanya dress turned out lovely and sweet. Here is one of the biggest compliments I've received. I had asked my daughter where the other flower girl was, and when I looked in the direction she pointed, I saw the cutest little girl just twirling in the dress. It made my night to a very beautiful wedding. Congratulations to Mary and Calvin. If you've enjoyed any of the Flower Girl Dress series or any of my tutorials, please click the like, share, and subscribe button. That way I'll know to create more fun tutorials. Well, thank you for visiting and I hope you got inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. If you would like to view the tutorial on how I made the Flower Girl sash, please click on the top video. If you would like to watch the very first tutorial on my Flower Girl series, please click on the bottom video.